Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm playing uh, a, well, R for awesome, but the Oculus Rift version, and in my previous video I played the demo of this game. And as I found out, the Steam version I linked to, um, that wasn't Oculus supported, was the um, prequel to this game. Uh, that was called uh, A Reckless Disregard for Gravity. This one's called R for awesome. Um, I don't know, it, it's it's Oculus Rift supported by default, um, so instead of just having one level to show you, I've got a whole bunch of them. Um, so the only way I can show you quickly is just to jump straight in. Now, um, this gives you a variety of levels. I mean, you have like the style that you can see right now, which is like all the um, sort of buildings and stuff, or you can fly down the side of mountains and. Uh, various things like that. So let's just jump in straight away. Here we go. So yeah, as you can see, um, down there is a mountain. Um, it's not a very good mountain, like not very mo uh, modelled very well, but it doesn't really matter because you're so immersed with this game that it, it, it just doesn't matter what it looks like, so long as you feel like you're there. Anyway, let's just jump straight off. Here we go. Now you start off quite slow, but obviously you've got to build up your speed. And still you uh, you have to go through these things collecting points, but you also have to uh, wall hug as well to get more points. Here we go. And you still get independent head tracking and everything, so where you look doesn't determine where you actually go. Um, now what I was saying about the prequel, um, how it's not Oculus Rift supported, it technically is, um, if you mod it, there's a sort of a client out there that lets you do it, but it's not very good. I mean, the FOV is all fucked up and stuff, so as you can see, that was a very quick level, but still it was different, which is the main thing. And I have all these levels to choose from. Haven't unlocked them all yet, but still. Um, as a treat, I'm going to unlock a new one for us. Here we go, we'll unlock this one. Right, let's just have a look at it. Okay, this is going to be pretty hectic. Anyway, let's go for it straight away. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Yeah, the aim of the game, really, is to get as many stars as possible. Is you just want to wall hug and try and go for the uh, sort of high value targets, like this one grand here. missed that one but here we go there's a double one grand here but the feeling you get as well when you're looking at a building as you're going past it like at such speed is mental anyway. uh, I only got four stars for that but oh well. I'm loving the music in this game as well let's do this Fly near stuff. Um. Hey, the game's out. <laughs> Celebrate. Okay. Simulated jump in progress. So this is the like the training, I suppose. So it asked me to pull my parachute straight away. I don't quite see how that works, but okay. Oh, this one's just boring, isn't it? I mean, I'm not getting any points for it. Maybe I was meant to deploy it later on. We'll just press restart. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump off like so. Yeah, it's, yeah, I did that wrong. My bad. I'm guessing this is a fairly speedy one. Wow. Oh, I can just look. Oh god, that's a bit too close. I can just look at forwards as I'm falling, and it's just it's very, very weird. I'm struggling to tell whether I'm actually like looking down in real life or whether I'm actually looking forwards because it's it just 
don't know, it feels like I'm looking down, but I don't think I am. I mean, am I looking up? There? I, I can't even tell. Can I land right in the centre? No. Okay, so that's me looking up. Yeah, so I must just be... I must be looking down. So I'll, I'll put a link in the description for this version. Um, it, it is 6.99 on Steam. But you got to make sure. Well, if you follow my link, you'll be alright. But if um, if you if you don't follow the link and go looking for it yourself, make sure you get R for awesome and not R reckless disregard for gravity. Because I made that mistake and it really confused me for a while. Hence the reason why in the last video I was like. Uh, this is, there's only a demo out because um, at the time I only thought there was until uh, I was on their website and I was reading about their other games because I was interested and then it turns out this one was out and yeah, let's see if I can't get a better score on that one because that was a pretty piss poor I've already activated my parachute haven't I right restart I would press R, but I don't actually know where it is right now, so a bit of an issue. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go there and then can I shoot round? No. Oh, that's kind of irritating. Uh, can I push for it? Oh, so close. You get, you get a weird feeling when you hit something. You sort of jolt in real life and it really messes you up a bit. It takes a bit of getting used to. And then if I shoot round here... And then I can shoot over there. I am going to make that, yep. Here we go. That's where the money's at. And then let's go hug these buildings over here. Oh my god. Ooh. Let's try again. Still not doing quite as bad as I did in my last video. See how I've worked out a routine now for getting down these first bits. Um, that's what I said in my last video, I mean, you, without realising you make, you, you start learning a routine. And it, this is a very strange parachute. Ooh. There we go. No, it's still the same score. Oh well. Don't know what this is, but... That's strange. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I should have I should have listened to that. Hold on. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> there we go. Alright then. In that case, let's play a level. See if we can't flip some people off. Oh. I recognise this song. Or it's very similar to another song. Hmm. This is an ACDC song, I know that. See, that just makes you feel like a boss, though, when you're going down a level, and that's what you can hear. Oh, wow. See, it's moments like this that you don't get from console gaming or... Um, playing like generic games. It's, ge it's games that have a positive view on the way things can be like, um, with new ideas using new technology that not everyone knows about and it's a shame that they don't because I think more people would open up to it. I mean the idea of virtual reality was tried in the past uh, 
especially like by Nintendo was one of the famous cases where they made the Virtual Boy um, and it was one of the worst consoles ever made um, because uh, the technology wasn't there to try and make it work um, they uh, sacrificed colour um, so everything was in this really weird red there we go I'm just giving a thumbs up to my fans. Uh, everything was in red. It, like a really weird um, situation, and there weren't many games for it, and there was no like head tracking or anything like you get with the Rift, and it, it just wasn't there. But now we're in. Now technology's progressed. It means that experiences like virtual reality have been made possible. And it, it's brilliant. I mean. What, what astounds me as well is the fact that the technology's been made available and at an affordable price. Granted, there's still room for improvement, but n like it's it's not far off. And uh, people at Oculus are, are doing a brilliant job. And then it's just a shame that more uh, developers haven't opened up to the idea and started working on more games. Because it'd be so worth it. Here we go. Speed boost. Hey, just speed boost. Oh crap, I missed that. that motion blur is a bit weird, but it kind of adds a nice effect. Oh, that looks dangerous. to land. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I don't even need to land yet. Land on this. Ta-da! The way you unlock levels is, obviously you play them to get the, the teeth, as they're called. Um, but you unlock one level and then you can unlock a level that's adjacent to that so let's say I could unlock that because I've got that one and that one unlocked but let's say I wanted to unlock that one like you see I can't unlock it because it has to be adjacent um, another feature of this game that I like well it's just it's a small thing it's the fact that you can actually change your settings with the rift on rather than having to take it off to change it like they've done it really well so you've got your volume controls and everything. You can even reset your progress, which I'm not going to do. You've got your graphic settings. Date with supermodel graphics. <laughs> and you've got old theme, black and white. Solid, no fill graphics. Great graphics quality. Awesome graphics quality. Awesome, uh, uh, what's that? Absurdly awesome, and then supermodel. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll play one more level and then um, we'll call it a day there. So let's unlock this. I hope it's a good level. Could this be your last one? Yeah, I'm not sure what all the random adverts are, but oh well. Here we go. Ah, I see this one's looking out to be quite good. Oh, good God. Oh my Jesus. Oh. Daddy made it through there. Oh fuck. Oh, I'll do it one more time. Here we go. Can't fail this time. 360. Time. He says. Oh, 
it was a shame there's no like speed up option so I think that'd be quite funny because I'm, I'm sitting here kind of wanting to go faster and I'll put myself in this situation again whoa what the fuck ah right oh well that's all for that then let's just go back to the menu Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, tune in next time uh, when I'll be playing either TF2 um, with the Razer Hydras and the Oculus um, or Half Life 2 uh, with the Razer Hydras and Oculus. Um, yeah, so don't forget to uh, subscribe and comment any games that you'd like me to play. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.